This is Valley News Live at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Nashay Taylor. Several inches of rain continue to fall across the state, leaving more concerns for flooding. We start with team coverage. First, we have head over to Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson with an outlook. Hutch. Nashay, thanks so much, and I hope your weekend is staying as dry as possible. But many of us are seeing the wet weather across the valley. Some of us are actually getting accumulating snow on area roads. I want to full screen this so you can get a clearer picture. There's Grand Forks wet there, but there is that white stuff on the side of the road in Bimford. That's right, some accumulating snow on grassy areas and a look off to the uh, north near uh, well on the highway five there's a little dark now but uh, the road at highway five completely covered with slush you can see the trails in the road there when we had a little bit more light rainfall amounts nearing four inches in verona still uh, raining out near the uh, oaks area towards jamestown 2.7 inches there uh, Grand Forks picking up 1.42 and the Stephen Argyle area one and a half inches. Pennington County 1.7 inches. Greenbush picking up almost 1.4 inches still raining in some of these areas. That should be 1.51 in the uh, Fargo area. It's not 1517 inches. That would be a mess. So we take a look at the radar. Some showers pushing into the FM area and also into the uh, Red Lake River Valley. These snowflakes are flying and accumulating on area roads. Adjusting that forecast, one to three inches of snow uh, expected now in grassy areas and slush on area roads causing slippery conditions. This does show up near the Binford area, Cooperstown, northern Barnes County, all the way up to Langdon, Walhalla. Elsewhere, it's rain. So one to three inches of sticky slop here as we go into the overnight hours. More rain to the tune of an inch, maybe a little more in some spots. We'll have hour by hour details on the impact on our area rivers. Nishay here in just a moment. All right, thank you so much, Hutch. We continue our team coverage of the flood fight across the region. The rivers are starting to rise across North Dakota and Minnesota due to increasing rainfall and communities that live alongside these waterways are preparing for major flooding. Valley News team's Aaron Walling has more on how the town of Kindred is preparing. Flood preparations in Kindred are underway as the Cheyenne River is predicted to rise into major flooding by the end of the weekend. Just kind of prepare for the worst and hope for the best. In Kindred, the fire department is getting their equipment ready for potential rescues and helping prepare the town for the flood waters, including sandbagging. Kind of prepare yourself and, and if you've lived here for quite a while, you're obviously going to know, you know, at what point should I start getting concerned and at what time do I need to, you know, not worry at all. According to the NWS, the area of most concern is just south of Highway 46. There lies farmland and neighborhoods that sit next to the river. Andy Wagaman has been with the department for over a year. She recalls being in West Fargo during the dangerous floods of 2009 through 2011. It's heartbreaking, especially for the people that like their homes are in danger. Wagaman says it's important to stay ready as the fire department is relied upon to help those going through the traumatic experience. I think one of the worst ways to lose stuff is in a flood because it's just gone. You don't know where the water is going to take it. You can't really refurnish anything with it. Chief Shook says he is hoping this year's flood levels won't be too bad, similar to flooding events in 2019 and 2020. It came up, crested, had some minor damage here and there, and then it went back down. You know, we're, we're hoping that this does the same thing this, this year, but it's just like, you know, emergency services. We got to prepare for the worst. In Kindred, Aaron Walling, Valley News Live. The town of Daisy, North Dakota, which is about 30 miles north of Valley City, has declared a flood emergency due to the rising river levels. Mayor Justin Sherlock is asking residents to limit their water usage and to discharge their sump pumps outside instead of the sewer system. Residents of the city of Drayton in northern North Dakota are feeling the impacts of the floodwaters rising right outside their front doors, but they say they're prepared to take on what's to come no matter what, just like they have in the past. Valley News Team's Alex Larson has more. We're not that far away from, we're only a few feet from where we were at in 97, and that's substantial. This is not Drayton's first rodeo with dealing with floodwaters. If it gets to where they projected, this will be the fourth worst flood Drayton's ever seen, but yet it still isn't a big deal because our city crew is so prepared and they've done this so many times, 
they know what they're doing. But people say they're still feeling the heat from it. Reindeer rancher Vern Hosselton says right now his reindeer only have a small amount of pasture to be in. Everything's kind of come the wrong time of year. It's our calving or fawning time of the year. I just had my first one last week. Hosselton says he was lucky with the circumstances of the birth of his new reindeer. The pasture that she was in, was, well, even when she was in the barn there, it was three quarters underwater. When the, this one, the snow and it melted, a little bit of rain come across. As well as pastures, cattle ranchers say they're also having issues in their typical calving season routines. We have a lot of cows calving right now. We're worried about them getting sick, and there's been a lot of cows getting sick. Um, worried about that, and then the crop goes. Or what are we going to do for crop? Are we going to put? What are we going to do for a late crop? Um, we're trying to figure that out. Many are still wondering what they're going to do because of the waters. Bar owner Amanda Brown says she's worried about what's to come. You know, there's all the unknown. Are you going to be fine? Are you going to have to close down? Are you, you know, um, the the business aspect is tough because you have, you know, construction crews and um, farm help that that just isn't here yet because it's too wet. But a big topic among residents lately has been the similarities between this flood and the one of 97. What we did, how we did it, um, you know, and how would we do it again? But they say they believe the town will be ready for what's to come. In the last 24 hours, they've raised the crest like four times, which again, we're not concerned. We're, we're prepared. In Drayton, Alex Larson, Valley News Live. New information tonight, one man was arrested after his involvement in a stabbing that happened near the Walmart on 13th Avenue South. 28-year-old Joseph Poitra was arrested and is being charged with aggravated assault. Fargo police say they were called around 8 last night for a report of a physical altercation near a bus stop at the Fargo Walmart. They say when officers arrived, they found a victim who had been stabbed. Police say the victim was uncooperative in helping identify the suspect, but officers were able to establish a probable cause and later arrested Poitra. And the Ottertail County Sheriff's Office says two people were found dead in a home in rural Wadena. Law enforcement says the suspicious deaths were reported shortly before 845 last night. They say the incident appears to be isolated and there is no threat to the public. The incident is still under investigation. Stay with Valley News Live as more information becomes available. Later on Valley News Live at 10, veterans from North Dakota and Minnesota take a trip to the nation's capital. And a lot of water falling on area fields and, well, rising to the sides of roads. And maybe we need a new sign. This looks like we need a pike crossing sign near Fort Ransom. Andrea, thanks for your photo. A lot of water out there as fish are crossing the road. And how about this drive? Kristen Grandly uh, in the Langdon area. Check this snow on the road right here. One to three inches of slushy mess. Your forecast next.